Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review a game I was looking forward to in playing on the Gen 9 consoles with Sword and Fairy Together Forever. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Seeing this game first on Digital Foundry about a year ago for their breakdown on PC, I was very excited to see if my PC could handle it. Downloading the demo on Steam, I was only able to muster 1080p at max settings with no ray tracing. With the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X installments coming later, I just waited to see them adapted to 4K and on the current consoles. I pretty much forgot about the game until it came on Game Pass on Xbox where I finally got to jump in. Sword and Fairy Together Forever was developed and released by Softstar in 2021 on Windows PC and then on PlayStation 4, 5, and the Xbox One, Series X, and S in 2022. The game is the seventh installment in the long-running series of the Legend of Sword and Fairy series. A fantasy action-adventure role-playing game stars a deity warrior tasked to hunt down celestial heavenly demons but fails and is portaled back to the human realm. He meets another warrior where his mission continues to save the world as we know it. The story is your average find companions and save the world and is told in a very long story arcs that does leave you wanting to skip as it does take a bit to get started. When you do get further along, the story beats do get better, but nothing here screams too far-fetched and is a bit repetitive overall in comparison to other role-playing adventures. The characters here are fun, with their unique personalities and how they all interact with one another. I did love the spirits you encounter that end up helping you on your quest and the banter between them in the dialogue. Although at times I did fast forward the reading text a bit, and there is a lot, there were some fun scenes that made me pause at times. The soundtrack is fantastic and helps immerse you in the fantasy world. The voices are the original Mandarin Chinese track where subtitles is a must if you don't know the language. I did have issues when traveling the world where the characters would talk to one another and I had to stop and read what they were saying or just pretty much ignored them altogether. The gameplay is fast and fun. There are so many different ways that you can play the characters with their different abilities. Each character has their own playstyle that suits them well. I love the action a lot more and I still have no issues with all the characters as they are fun and fast. There are times when the game on screen battles can get chaotic especially during boss battles where you can get lost in your actions. The visuals here are a mixed bag. The design of the world and environments and the main characters are done well. I did have issues with the Xbox Series X as it was not what I expected with the power of the console. It looks to me that it was an Xbox One version but with higher resolution and frame rate and that's about it. My PC, although in 1080p max, looked much better in detail overall. I just wish the developers took a higher PC settings approach as I still spoiled by the Digital Foundry video and demo I played 
over a year ago. Overall, the game does have an above average story with fun gameplay, but nothing that will blow you away. I'm glad I just waited to play this one on Game Pass. Sword and Fairy Together Forever gets a 7.0 out of 10 for its fun characters and gameplay, but is bogged down by its story and lackluster visuals. A quick port makes this game a missed opportunity, especially with the Series X and PS5 hardware. That's it for this look at Sword and Fairy. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Uh.